All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem Rakak with Das. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're we'll going to go on this topic of the reconciliation of the Lord, okay? Which we know. His name is Yahweh Shah, okay, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay, um, and uh, the Father, okay, his name is Yahweh, okay, who the world ignorantly calls God or uh, Jehovah, okay, the letter J didn't exist uh, 400 years ago, okay, now, um, the Lord reconciled the Israelites, okay, back onto the Most High, okay. Put it in it in lamer terms, or for for people to be able to understand, Yahweh Shah, okay, reconciled the Israelites back onto. Yahweh the Father, okay, because Yahweh the Father was displeased with us, okay. Now, the word reconciliation means reestablish, reconciling, okay. This is the etymology of the word reconcile, okay. From mid 14th century, it says to bring together again. So the Lord is reuniting, Yahweh Shah is reuniting us back onto the Heavenly Father. Okay? That means also to regain, win over again, con con conciliate. Okay? Re means again, and consular means to make friendly. Okay, meaning to make this this coordinate facts or statements consistent, become reconciled. Okay, con con conciliate means to overcome distrust or hostility of by soothing and pacifying. Okay, because um, the Israelites, okay, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we was on. The Lord, the, the Most High Father's bad side, okay? But the Lord, he's showing mercy on us, okay? And um, by, by giving his elect the, the, the truth, okay? Giving them the, the, the comforter, which is the scriptures, okay? Soothing us, okay? From, from off of the truth. And he did that through Yahweh Shah, his son. Okay? Uh, con conciliate means to bring together, unite in feel feelings, make friendly. Okay? What did Yahweh Shah say onto um, his, uh, his uh, men? Okay? This is uh, John 15 and 13. Greater love has no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And that's who the Lord laid down his life for. Okay? The ones who, who, who are his friends. Okay? You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. So the Lord, the Most High Father, okay, he gave commandments, law, statutes, and commandments, okay? And he told his son, hey, basically, if they want to get on my good side, then they're going to have to follow you, okay? And the Lord, Yahweh Shah, which is the one who the world intimately calls Jesus, okay? He went out there and he went to the men that the Lord um, gave him. 
okay? It says, you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. So those men that the Lord um, reconciled back onto the Father to make friendly, he gave them commandments. It says, henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knows not what the Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father have I made known unto you. So, Yahweh Shah, the one the world anyway calls Jesus, okay, he told his elect, his men, the secrets, okay, his friends. He made us, he made our friendship, okay, with, with the Lord, okay, for the Lord to be more friendly, for him to give us grace, okay, to show mercy on us. Knowing the, the, the full breakdowns of this, this, these scriptures, okay? For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you, okay? Continuing on, it says, um, A meeting, a gathering of people, was that gathering of the, of the people, of the elect, okay? It says, uh, the notion, or it says to shout, the notion is of a calling together. And this is the calling, okay? To come back onto the Heavenly Father, who we transgressed against, okay? Through Yahweh Shah. So, I'm going to get 2 Corinthians and the 5th chapter and um we get the 16th verse it says when wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh yeah though we have known Yahweh Shai after the flesh yet now henceforth know we him no more therefore if any man be in Yahweh Shai he is a new creature so in this world, they might have, you know, your name might have been whatever. In this world, you might have a government name and uh, you might uh, be known for, for doing certain things. Like let's say you might have been a rap rapper or something, okay, in this world or, or athlete or whatever you, you was, okay. You could have been a, um, a plumber, okay. And this this truth. Whatever that government world life that you had, you know, that's that's a whole total different thing, man. People in this world probably viewed you as a loser. Okay, they probably viewed you in the it is um is the man. But in this truth, you a whole total different being, man. Okay? You gotta be humble. It says old things are passed away. So it's not about what you uh did in the past. Okay? It says, Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, which that's Yahweh. Okay, so everything on this planet is of the Most High God, Yahweh, who has reconciled us to himself by Yahweh Shah. Okay, so the Lord recalled us back onto him through Yahweh Shah. Okay. He sold favor unto us. Continuing on, it says, and have given us, given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So when we go out on the highway and hedges, that's our job, okay, to, to, to tell, or even to do videos like this, to tell our people that we're the chosen people and that the Lord is going to have mercy on the elect. You can't make yourself of the elect. It's either you are or you aren't. Okay? It's either you are a friend of the Lord or you're not. It says, To wit, that Yahweh was in Yahweh Shah reconciling the world, which that world is not talking about the whole entire world. Okay? That world right there is cosmos. Okay? And it says, an apt and harmonious arrangement or constitution 
order or government. Okay? And that's the reconciliation of the Israelites back onto the Heavenly Father. Okay? And that's Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay? So that world that that's talking about is the Israelites. Okay? And it, it goes down to the elect. Because the only the elect are really in, in, in the real world. Okay? It says reconciling the world onto the to himself not imputing their trespasses onto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation okay once again making friendly unite us back into how we really supposed to be feeling okay bringing us back onto yahweh okay through faith through the word it says, now then we are ambassadors for Yahweh Shah. It's through Yahweh did beseech you by us. We pray you in Yahweh Shah's stead, be ye reconciled to Yahweh. Okay? So, you have men out here that are in Yahweh Shah's stead. Okay? The word stead is... Strong's G, 5228. Who pair? Who pair? Okay. And the behalf of, for the sake of. Okay. So we come to y'all in the on the behalf of Yahweh Shah. Okay. As the messengers. Okay. To reconcile y'all back to Yahweh. Starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down. Okay? Because that's who we learned it from. Okay? But it's also through, you know, Yahweh Shah, ultimately. It says, For he have made him to be a sin for... for he have made him to be sin for us who, who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of Yahweh in him. Okay? So we follow after Yahweh Shah's example okay and that's the example of righteousness that we supposed to be following okay this is uh colossians 1 and 19 for it pleased the father that in him shall all fullness dwell okay so in yahweh yahweh shah is all the complete understanding of these scriptures and how the men of the lord is supposed to be walking in the spirit okay and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself okay that's that sacrifice okay so we all be we belong to yahweh okay it says by him i say whether they be be things in earth or things in heaven and you that were sometime alienated and enemies and your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Okay? And this truth is, is about faith. Okay? When you come into this truth, you have to you have to know that this is the that this is um through Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, reconciling us back onto the to the Heavenly Father. It says, if you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which that's the good news, that through through the Lord reconciling and making the Lord friendly onto us, that he's going to destroy our enemies and set us back in our own land. And we're going to have blessings, everlasting life, which you have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, where whereof I Paul am made a minister. Okay, so that's what we go out there, and we teach onto the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, which we only out there for the elect. But that's pretty much the the point of this topic. Okay, 
the reconciliation of, of Yahweh Shah, okay, back onto the Father, okay? This is the calling of, of all the, the, the righteous brothers, okay, that the Lord is going to have mercy on those brothers, okay, his friends. So with that, man, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.